What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Monday. Let's kick the week off right. Hopefully you're not hanging too much from Sunday night, but uh, I know I am. Anyways, I'm going to power through it because that's what I do for you guys. Uh, one thing I want to mention, don't forget, hit the BuckeyeCast.com. That's the hat, T-shirt shop, all kinds of stuff. We got stuff in there for men, women. Uh, get in there and check it out. If there's any products you would like to see or uh, any, I can do custom design stuff as well. Let me know. Hit me up. You can email me anytime, joe at the buckeyecast.com. Also, if you have any topics that you're looking for between now and the beginning of the year, uh, beginning of the football season, hit me up anytime. You can hit me in the comments, email me, whatever. Um, and if there's any, um, any like, type of show or or things you might see on on other uh other channels or whatever uh like a call-in show would you be interested in a call-in show once a week like say on a sunday uh we talked about possibly a rewatch party you know where we we rewatch the uh, our condensed version of the, the previous week's game you know like i don't know a day sunday monday tuesday i don't know but Maybe we'll do that. So hit me with anything you, you're interested in anytime. I appreciate it. All right. On with the show. We are continuing our freshman focus. And today we are talking D tackles, the big man, Caden McDonald. Looks like he ate a McDonald's. Just kidding. Don't tell him I said that, man. Kick my ass. All right. Caden is 6'3, 310, uh, out of North Gwinnett. High school in Sewanee, Georgia. The Buckeyes have a nice presence down in that part. He was a four star in 9118, nationally ranked number 261 and number 35 D lineman in the class. Uh, let's talk about the scouting report here. So he possesses ideal size at 6'3 and 300 plus pounds, uh, shows good athletic ability for an interior D lineman. Um, He's shown the ability to play multiple positions across the defensive line. That's huge. Versatility is one of those things we keep talking about, just kind of organically has cropped up, especially when we're talking about defensive players, right? Like safeties, you know, uh, linebackers, and now DN, uh, D linemen. So um, Caden exhibits a good, quick twitch explosiveness off the line of scrimmage. Um has an excellent first step. He's, he's nimble for his size, uh, possessing good initial foot and body quickness. Um, he can win with speed, quickness, and power off the line of scrimmage and flashes heavy hands at the point of attack, you know, to uh, shed those, those old linemen. Uh, he has good strength. He shows the ability to penetrate consistently behind the line of scrimmage. Um, Possesses the frame and the ability to anchor the run. Uh, also adds some pass rush ability as an interior lineman. So he, how, where does he project? He projects as a one tech in a 4-3 defense, and that's exactly what he's in. So, uh, But he's versatile and can play along the defensive line if need be. Uh, he's forceful and can impact the run and the pass. Uh, as a junior his last two years, junior and senior year in high school, he put up 98 tackles for loss and 32 sacks in two seasons. Jesus, 98 TFLs, man. Wow. Might want to double him up, maybe triple. I don't know. He's also credited with 15 quarterback hurries, three pass breakups. He was named the uh, Touchdown Club of Gwinnett's Defensive Player of the Year. So now – Let's talk about him at Ohio State. He enrolled in June, so he's only been on campus for a couple months now. Um, Larry Johnson wants playmakers on the D-line. That is exactly Caden McDonald. Um, he had, as a junior, he had seven sacks in one single playoff game. Wow. That's <laughs> nuts. Um, McDonald does a good job of shedding blocks, using his, his quick hands, nimble feet, and uh, momentum, he he doesn't slow down easily. He's, he gets that mo, and he wants to go. Uh, 
he will either get off the block or take the blocker to the play. Uh, Caden has the size and strength to defend the run, but defensive line coach Larry Johnson also likes to have defensive tackles that can rush the passer, be disruptive up the middle, right? Uh, his quickness in pass rush situations will remind you of Ty Leak. Um, both players were listed at over 300 pounds, but they get after the quarterback. He can, uh, so uh, Caden can uh, stretch out a run play down the line or push a guard into the play and just completely blow it up. You know, um, he can he can knife into the backfield before the quarterback even has an opportunity to make a read and blow up the play that way. Uh, so the Buckeyes right now going into fall camp, they're looking for a fourth defensive tackle to go along with Ty Hamilton, Mike Hall, Tyreek Williams. So McDonald enrolled in summer. So the question is, Will he have enough time to develop and get into a role this season where he's in that rotation? You know, uh, you got to keep those big men fresh up front. And especially with the way offenses like to run up tempo, you know, uh, those guys can get gassed quickly. And, you know, if especially if they run no huddle, that's that's going to be key to get him in shape, you know, in college football shape. I know he's in good shape, but in college football shape and then get him ready, get him into a role possibly with the defense. So if he can, if Caden can impress coach Jay during fall camp, gain some momentum, make some plays in practice, you know, the Buckeyes also brought in two other D tackles in the 2023 class. So, and you got the uh, Ole Miss transfer Taiwan Malone. So, Scott, he's got a, a deep-ish room there, you know, but I think Cade McDonald can can crack a two deep if he can get so, some development in here, if Larry can get him, you know, on campus and and working hard, putting in all the work, getting some some meaningful reps in practice, you know, as he gets stronger and gains experience, um, it's gonna become his his upside is going to become more obvious and uh, he'll show some flashes. If he gets in games, he will show some flashes this year. You know, the question is, can he get meaningful snaps in camp, you know, to help his development? He's really, you know, it's going to take some time to develop. And obviously you got to learn what you're doing, you know, and then get in there, make some plays, show some flashes and in practice. And then, who knows the sky's the limit, you know, he could, he could make it into a game, you know, maybe, maybe he gets in early in the season and one of these blowouts, that'd be awesome. So that's Caden McDonald. That's all for today. Talk to you tomorrow. Go Bucks.